What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some more Bed Wars. Now, as y'all can probably tell, things are looking a little bit different. We're running shaders, which was previously impossible, but recently I got a GPU. I finally got a GPU for any computer nerds out there. I got a 3070 Ti and it's, it's amazing. It's like one of the coolest things I've owned in a while. When I first played in my PC, I turned on Minecraft and I was running shaders and I was still getting a frame rate like seven times higher than I've ever seen before. It's not like the best running shaders isn't like the best for games because sometimes like the, as you can tell, the light is like a little bit different. Sometimes it makes it harder to see players, but I don't know. It's still worth it. It's, it's cool. It looks nice. You can go away. Where do you go? How do you not fall? Am I going to die? There we go. Anyways, today we're talking about entomology. This is the last time I'm talking about entomology. I hate this class, but it's it provides some interesting content. I didn't hit him. Are you kidding me? So coming into the class, I first thought it might be like kind of interesting or at least like a nice change of pace because like, I don't know, it seems like catching bugs instead of doing homework seems it seems like a nice change of pace, right? Well, there are a couple of flaws with my first impressions of the class. The first flaw being that catching insects would be fun. It is not. Can we get them? There we go. And the second flaw was thinking that catching bugs would be my only homework. It, it was not. I will say it was pretty light with assignments, but that's not exactly a good thing because that makes it so that the exams do more damage if you don't do as well on them. And also, at least for me, it's like it's way easier to learn the material if I like have a reason to like apply it right then, you know. I suck. So, yeah, the most notable part of the class was the bug collection. And they actually they had an assignment due in the first like couple weeks of the class. that was like the picture of your first 10 insects that you caught, which that was kind of like a good thing for me because it kind of like made me actually go out and get them. Let's actually build a bridge here this time. But yeah, so I got the first 10 bugs in time, and one of them was a roly poly. So you know how roly polies are called pill bugs? That was very close. So you know how they're called pill bugs? That's actually a lie. They're not bugs, they're arthropods. And I learned this after the first assignment was due, but I still got full points on the assignment. So I thought, like, okay, maybe my teacher was just like being, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I'm just gonna toss these emeralds. Wait, are you okay? Yep. It's going in the void and I'm going to die. So anyways, I was thinking like maybe my teacher was just being nice. Maybe they were just giving me credit or maybe they, maybe they didn't notice that one of my bugs was actually an arthropod. But yeah. After that assignment was due, I ended up flushing the roly poly down the toilet because, um, please die. Okay. Perfect. I was like, it's an arthropod. I can't have an arthropod in my insect collection. That would be silly. Then, uh, more recently I learned that part of the insect collection assignment is actually to have three non-insect arthropods. I flushed my roly poly down the toilet. So that was a bit of an L. I actually, I did not end up getting another roly poly, unfortunately. I could have gone for like other arthropods, but dude, there's no way I'm catching a spider. Are you kidding me? And millipedes, I'd rather not. Wait, when did this guy lose his bed? Oh, that's not blue. That's not blue. Okay. That's, that's part of the thing with shaders. Like I have no idea what color that guy is. I think he's green, but I can't tell. Yep, there we go. All right, uh, can I get over here? Are you gonna avoid? He's not going to avoid. Interesting. Interesting decisions. He did. He did void. Okay. Goodbye. I'm in a bit of a pickle. You have diamond armor. I'm going on the tree. The tree will protect me, just like the insects. All right. Now I actually stand a chance if someone wants to come fight. Anyways, one of the one of the last assignments we had, this one was actually due a couple of days ago. It was um an assignment on forensic entomology. I didn't even know that existed. I, I have a lot of questions about this. My first question is just like, who pulled up to the crime scene? And was like, you know what? I think looking at the local bugs would tell us a lot about how this person died. I don't understand. What's the thought process there? How did this come to be? Yeah, there have been some interesting applications of things we have learned or things the teacher assumes we have learned. If he gets down here, I'll fireball jump up there and it'll be epic. All right, perfect. Thank you. I was really hoping that was going to work and it did. So I'm happy. And he might void. I don't think he's going to. I'm going to throw a fireball and pearl. What's he going to do? Just 
come on. Okay, good. Where is he? Anyway, so back to the collection. I was um I was struggling a bit with the collection, not gonna lie, because catching bugs is not it's kind of a miserable experience because you go out in the sun for like three hours and you just burn, you just die. So a couple weeks ago, I, I knew I had to like be wrapping it up. So I I was at twenty okay, he died. Perfect. So yeah, I was at 20 insects and I needed I needed 40, which is a huge ask for an introductory class, by the way. So I had 20 out of 40 a couple weeks ago. I was like, okay, I need to have like one final effort, one final push to see how many I can get. Um, and I ended up getting, I ended up getting nine. I went out one afternoon for like three hours. I, it was horrible. It was miserable. Um, but I got nine. So that put my, my total at 29, which is not, which is not 40. 29 is actually less than 40, but I tried a bit of a bad student moment, but I tried. Did he also go invis? Yeah, he did. So I was going to say, I don't see him. Can I reveal him? Oh, there you are. Hey, bud. No, come on. Knock him off, please. <sighs> this is stressful. No. In my defense, collecting bugs is terrifying. There were some wasps that I caught that were like chewing through the plastic bags I put them in. But yeah, on my last excursion, I saw this one massive dragonfly. This thing like, this was from the Cretaceous era. I'm gonna jump up here, run around, bring around the Rosie, drop some TNT. I think that's how that song goes. Break the bed. Perfect. Yeah, unfortunately I did not get that dragonfly, but you would be amazed at some of the specimens that other people in this class caught. I had no idea how pathetic my collection was until I discovered the class group chat, which I joined like before the second exam because I, I was a little behind in my studying. And then I, I looked through my email. I realized I missed an invitation to a group chat. I was like, Ooh, that, that is a resource worth utilizing. And I did do better on that exam than the first one. So thank you classmates for your study guides. But yeah, in the group chat, there were a lot of people like posting pictures of their collections and pictures of bugs, like asking for people to like help identify them. There were some crazy collections. If I can find the the picture, I'll, I'll probably put it up on the screen right now. But there was this one moth that this one girl had that was like 12 inches. It had like a 12 inch wingspan. I don't know. I don't know where you find things like that. Like, do you live in Australia? They had a grasshopper that was like, I didn't even know grasshoppers got that big, but this thing was huge. No, I did not mean to buy that. I'm mad. Okay. But yeah, they also had like, they had this murder hornet in their collection. There's like a bee right next to it. So you can see the size comparison. That thing... That thing did not come from planet Earth. And you get red bed. Red bed redemption. But yeah, you look at my collection compared to theirs. I'll throw a picture of my collection on the screen too. It was, it looked better after I like organized it in the end, but it was still pretty pathetic. Yeah, you cross that bridge. You do that. I could buy sharp. I kind of want to do that. All right now we can do damage. Oh, it's just me and red now. Okay. All right, blow up the bridge and pearl. And blow up that defense if we can. I missed the pearl. I'm... Such an idiot. But yeah, some people would like post pictures of insects in the chat and like ask for help like identifying them. And I'd be like, oh yeah, that's, that looks like a beetle. That's from the order Coleoptera. I, I didn't actually respond in the chat. I'm, I'm a bit more of a lurker myself. And then some student would say that. And then like Giga Chad entomologist would come along and be like, oh, actually that's, that's a giant reindeer beetle. They come out every 36 years and feed specifically on the West African dandelion that was imported to America in the late 19th century. It's like, it's intimidating how like fascinated with bugs some of these people are. There were also like adults in this class, which is not something I've experienced before. I've never been in a class with adults before. I don't know, like as a college student, I didn't really realize there were like, I mean, I, I knew, obviously I knew that there are some adults that like go to university, like older people, like people in their forties that go to university, but I don't know. It's just not a common thing. It's not something I'd seen before. So it was like interesting going on some of the zoom calls and seeing people like in their forties, I was like, like one of the people in the group chat was like, Oh yeah, I, I caught this. Uh, I caught this butterfly while my kids were out on the field playing. I'm like, your kids, what are you talking about? We're, we're in college here. So you like this. Thank you. But yeah, anyways, that's, that's all I'm saying about bugs. I never want to have anything to do with them ever again. I just saw a green boy run by where, okay. Saw a gray boy fall into the void. I'm gonna go get his bed. I just lost mine. That's not good. I 
I'm not here. <laughs> that was awesome. I am sneaky. It's just red. It's just me and red. Okay, I need some. I need some emeralds. I think he's over there. Is he? Yeah, he is. Okay. I knew he was here. I knew it. I knew he was here. Get me out of here. No. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. But yeah, anyways, I, I mailed in my collection yesterday, so I am now free from the bugs. Now all I really got to do is take the, the main exam and the lab exam. But anyways, I'm flying out to California for nationals. I just packed my bag this morning. I just want to have one last upload to close what otherwise would have been like a month-long gap between uploads. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys sometime in August.